Hello everyone, Suzette Samuj here, BlueRx Live product architect, and this is the release overview for our upcoming BlueRx Live release, expected to go live on June 26, 2021. This release of BlueRx Live provides improved performance, enables Glossary managers to work effectively with large glossaries, and enhances the BPMN2 export. The glossary page now works more efficiently. Glossary participants can load the subset of categories that they're interested in and can refresh the values within a single category. And while waiting for a large category to load, glossary managers can work with glossary values in other categories. The BPMN2 diagram interchange is now included with the BPMN2 export. The diagram interchange provides graphical details such as the position and size of elements. In addition, we've been busy tuning various screens and tuning the overall product performance. Let's now dive into the more visible enhancements within this release. First, let's talk about what we've done to enable glossary managers and glossary participants to work more efficiently on large glossaries. To start, glossary participants will notice that the glossary page now opens faster than it did before. Large glossaries will show the greatest observable improvement, but all glossaries, even small and medium-sized ones, will be faster. Large glossary categories are now populated on demand when you expand that glossary category. And so, if you're working with just a subset of categories, you no longer have the overhead of the other categories. This is one of the ways in which we've optimized how you work with the glossary. Note that even if you do have a large category, it won't take very long for it to load onto your screen. But while it is loading, you won't be blocked from doing other work. You can expand other categories in the meantime and can work with the rest of the glossary. This now allows you to multitask, but you will want to stay on the glossary page because if you leave it, then you're back to the beginning and will have to load the, the category again. Glossary participants can now refresh a single glossary category to get the most current set of values for that one category. And so, when working with a single category or a small set of categories, you no longer need to reload the entire glossary to get an up-to-date set of values. You can instead now click the new refresh button available within each category as shown in the picture here. Now, let's look at BPMN2 export. If you export process diagrams today for consumption by other tools, you will be pleased to hear that the BPMN2 diagram interchange is now included when exporting BPMN2. The diagram interchange, or DI for short, is part of the BPMN2 standard, and it provides graphical details, such as the position and size of elements and of lines. The BPMN2 export continues to produce a zip file as before, but within it, in addition to the .bpmn files generated in the past, you will now find additional .bpmn DI files, one for each process. The contents of that file are consistent with the BPMN2 DI schema published with the standard. The URL to the official BPMN2 site is provided here if you'd like more information on the DI format or require a copy of the DI schema. Now, the BPMN2 DI will always be included if you export via the user interface. If you instead export using an API, you can control whether it's included by using the new optional parameter shown here. And so, to summarize, this release of BlueWorks Live provides improved performance, it enables glossary managers to work effectively with large glossaries, and adds the BPMN2 diagram interchange to the BPMN2 export. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for using BlueWorks Live, and we hope you find this release useful.